Hello and welcome back to this video lecture series. Uh, in last video lecture, we have learned the set specifiers and mode of uh, inheritance. So now in this video lecture, uh, we are going to learn the order of the execution of the constructor in inheritance. So here I am having a code uh, in which uh, I am having a class A and class B and a class C. So these are some simple uh, independent classes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a multi-level inheritance by using uh, the inheritance symbol public A here, uh, public B. So here A is the parent class, B is the child class, C is a grandchild class of A. So now we know the constructor is called whenever the object of that particular class is created. So let's declare a object of a class A. It's very simple. We already learned in a constructor chapter. So lecture number 63 and uh, mm, 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 this is order of calling of constructor and destructor okay so here we have an error so what's the error say that that is private okay so the constructor should be in a public because you are going to invoke that thing from a main class so that should be in a public you should take care of uh, these things okay so now these are our constructors uh, and uh, if i'm going to uh, declare an object of a the constructor of a class a is going to be unmoved fine okay so here is some passing problem so I'm having a problem regarding the compilation of this program. So case so, 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 no words now. Okay, so is that expected? Uh, okay, so I forward to put the uh, no okay. so why this stuff done passing eight seconds, so it's between the eight seconds. So why am I unable to edit this? already compiling okay so here uh, I forgot to put this so let's compile this again okay so um, a so uh, that was pretty easy to guess so now can you guess if I'm going to declare the object of a C what will happen so now here the rule is that whenever you are creating an object of any type class, very first your base class constructor has to be invoked first. So now what do you expect? What would be the output? So that would be first the base class that is the A, then B, then C. So this is the rule that uh, you know whenever you are creating an object of a drive class, the constructor of a base class in that particular hierarchy would be invoked. So this is in case of your multi-level. So now uh, instead of multi-level, let's see some another uh, hierarchical principle: public B, comma, public. Uh, a. So now this is multi 
multiple inheritance. So in multiple inheritance, the constructor is called for the obviously base class first, but here we are having a two base classes. So now in which order you have pacified over here in that particular order, the constructor is invoked. So now in this particular case, the constructor of B is going to be invoked, then A, then the child class. So let's execute this again. I don't know why that is taking so much of time in the parsing. Okay, so meanwhile, let's uh, discuss about the destructor also. This was the story about the constructor invo invocation in inheritance. So now, you know, similarly, if object is created, obviously that is going to be destroyed. So now the destructor is destructor is going to be invoked in a reverse order as of the constructor. So let's finish this. Should we wait for some time? Uh, so I think meanwhile we can type the destructor. So here I am going to copy the same code over here. So we know that destructor is only distinguished from the constructor by only implementing this tilt sign. So again it's restricting me to add it and thing from this editor. So we should wait. Okay. So I was okay um B A C oh that was the previous execution. So that is B A and C as we have learn okay so now okay so i was a so similarly uh, destructor for class p uh, okay so i was b okay so similarly for the c that is I was C and that should be this term. So now what do you expect? What would be the output? So first the constructor is going to be invoked. So that is D, um, A, um, C. So then the reverse order would be for our C, our C, our P. Uh, Let's execute this. So this time it's going to execute fine. So you can see the first B constructor is invoked, then A, then C. So now C, A, B. So you can put the mirror over here. You can see uh, the order of a destructor follows the reverse trend as of the calling of the constructor. Thanks for watching and. Uh, Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will have a latest update videos and uh, thanks for watching this video.